The electric motor driving this powerful saw has very humble beginnings. Believe it or not, all electric motors, including this one, evolved from this primitive device. This is a working model of Michael Faraday's electromagnetic rotator. First demonstrated in 1821, this simple device revealed the potential of electromagnetism, the magnetic field that appears when electrical current flows through a conductor. The magnetic needle in the compass moves when I complete the circuit, revealing the electromagnetic field. Experimenting with electricity and magnets, Michael Faraday discovered a way to create rotary motion using electricity the first electric motor. I'll demonstrate how to build one. I started by constructing a simple wood frame, a frame designed to align and hold the components of the motor. The copper wire is centered over the base with a metal swivel attached to it, the type of swivel used in fishing. You will need a container for salt water. Any plastic or glass container will work to hold the liquid. I'm using the top from the packaging for a stack of CDs. I'm going to fill this container with salt water, an electrolyte. It conducts electricity. But before doing that, I need an electrical contact. I created this with a piece of aluminum foil folded over the edge of the container. Next, I need a stack of permanent magnets. I'm using six rare earth magnets. They stand in the center of the container. Next, I filled the container with salt water. I used one tablespoon of salt in a cup of water for this solution. Next, I hung a metal wire from the swivel as shown. This wire hangs just clear of the bottom of the container, centered on the magnets. At this point, it's hanging against the magnets. I used a small regular 9-volt alkaline battery to power the motor. Connecting the plus lead to the aluminum contact and the minus lead to this copper wire. The motor starts. Sometimes I have to adjust the alignment by moving the container slightly. I can imagine Faraday's excitement when his motor started rotating. I wonder if he knew what his invention would become. The electron flow in this circuit flows from the minus battery terminal, through the black wire, then into the copper wire. From there, it travels through the metal swivel into the hanging wire. The circuit is completed with electricity flowing from the salt water to the aluminum plate, finishing at the plus battery terminal. Explaining the rotary motion is complex, but basically the current flowing in the metal wire creates a magnetic field that interacts with the magnetic field of the rare earth magnets, resulting in a force at right angles to the wire, creating motion. Reversing the battery connections reverses the motion. The wire is rotating clockwise around the magnets. I'll disconnect the battery and reverse connections. The motor now rotates counterclockwise. We can see bubbles and material appearing around both the rotating wire and the aluminum contact. We are witnessing some complex electrochemistry. For instance, the bubbles at the negative pole are hydrogen. There is a safety concern here. Another product of this process, depending on the electrolyte, is chlorine gas. If you attempt any project like this, understand the safety issues. If you're not sure about the safety of any project you're planning, talk to a science teacher or other knowledgeable professional before proceeding. Faraday used liquid mercury in his original motor. This image shows his equipment from 1821. At the time, the dangers of working with mercury were not known. This simple motor lacks the power to do any useful work, but it is the first electric motor. 
This simple machine has evolved into the countless electric motors in use around the world today. The motor is just a small part of the Faraday story. In the decades after 1821, he immersed himself in the quest to explain the nature of these magnetic fields that drove his motor. In the process, he revealed a previously unknown world of force fields, a revelation that opened a door to a whole new way of thinking about the universe. Maxwell, Thompson, Rutherford, and Einstein were among those who followed Faraday's lead and created the vision we have of the universe today. Einstein kept a portrait of Faraday on his study wall, and physicist Ernest Rutherford said of Faraday, he is one of the greatest scientific discoverers of all time. For more videos about great discoverers, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the video's link.